Hello everyone, it is me, Mel and Grace, as you probably know, and today we are gonna be doing a long project. This is gonna, I'm gonna look different tomorrow. I have a hair appointment tonight, but I wanted to show you. I have all my sewing stuff inside my bedroom, and I just ordered a, it's called a, a kitchen island. Now I'm gonna step out of the way. So right now I have a um, collapsible table where I do all my ironing and my cutting. I have this little bookshelf over here. And if you can see, I went to Target and they have these uh, bright room bins. And so I bought three of these and I'm gonna be putting my fabric in here. Um, we're just gonna redo this whole section. And I'm going to show you the whole process. I'm probably going to put some music behind it, but the table's not here yet. So the first thing I want to do is start low. I'm going to be emptying out most of this cabinet here. And in just a second, I'll turn it around so you can see it. But this is going to be where all my yardage is going to go. And hold on, I'm going to get the other pieces. Okay. So what I absolutely love about these bright room bins is they're all 12 inch by 12 inch. So even if I want, I could put on layer cakes in here and have plenty of room, um, but they're clear. I'm a clear organization type person. I cannot put them in bins where I cannot see what's in there because I will, I will forget it's in there and then I'll just go buy more fabric. Um, this one is a drawer. Let me see if I can take that off. There we go. So this one I'd be able to oh, pull out, still see my stuff. And what I love about this is because they're all, they're from the same company. If I wanted to, they, they stack together or they're stackable. In addition to those, I got smaller ones. So I got three of each. I have three buckets. I've got three drawers and three trays. The trays also just go right on top. And then I got in the dollar spot um, a clear Lazy Susan. So I'm thinking I'll probably put thread in here or maybe webbing for making bags. I'm not sure, but it, it's matching my whole aesthetic. So we are going to get started on just redoing my space and making it work for me. Stay tuned. Before I zoom out, I just wanna show you, I'm a little embarrassed to show you all this stuff. Like this is from my kid's room. All right, here we go. Eee, this is so embarrassing. So these are all um, the things I use for my bags. I have vinyl down here. These are my zippers and um, uh, what do you call those? Uh, I'm losing my mind. These are all zipper poles, all like the hardware. These are snaps. These are scraps. Those are other snaps. Here's some fabric. And this box holds project bag. That's about it. And this is all like junk, just junk. This is where I throw my things when I cut. And then under there is my table. It's a very small, it's a very small table. It's collapsible, um, but I'm able to fit this 18 by 24 um, mat on it, but it hangs over about two inches. The table I'm going to get is going to be so much bigger and longer. So what's going to end up happening is the table's going to go, the bookshelf's going to go, and then I'm going to have this nice big long table with these lovely organization boxes underneath to really help category categorize everything. And this is going to be much better. Oh, and this is my um, bedside uh, table for my computer whenever I'm feeling sick at work and I just lie on my bed and work because I work from home. So here we are and here's a little shelf that I put up earlier this year. This is my little German smoker. Oh, he's so cute. I had little Santa smokers up, but since um, Christmas is over, this is just a chimney sweep. This is the lamp that I got as part of Jenny's uh, Christmas box this year. Those are my special patterns with my... Um, Shanghai Rummy case. If you want to download the pattern, you can do that. And then I'm probably going to clear off these shelves a little bit. And then my mom made this for me. Um, my dad passed away from ALS in 2009 and, um, she took his old shirts and cut them up and folded them into cute little Hawaiian shirts because my dad always wore Hawaiian shirts. And so I keep this up here because I absolutely love it and I miss my dad. And there's, there's a picture of him. 
But so this whole thing is going to get revamped. Woohoo! I'm back. <laughs> so I went to get her highlights done and she did more of like a partial weave. So there might have been a little bit of miscommunication, but I'm really liking it because I'm a lot more blonde. All right, we are going to just dive in. My table's going to be delivered today. So <clears throat> I'm going to start by clearing out this area and hopefully get it all spaced out and get a light on there. Is that better? <laughs> Got so many lights because it's so dark in my room. Um, so I'm going to pause this out and we are going to just clean this out. I'm going to put some music on in my ears and we are going to get rolling. for Christmas. It is so heavy. It's from Modern American Vintage. If you want to get a clapper, this is great. I have a real, I have another one up there that I've been using, but it's so lightweight. Um, this one's amazing. Highly recommend. Okay, back to it. Bake and bake. Chainsaw serve. Big mistake. Service cord. Open face. Overhead smash. Backspin ace. Strike that paddle. Follow through. Lay down the drink shot. Tie your shoe. It's almost a religion. Trivian shot. Down in the kitchen. small table that has been I have used for my ironing and my cutting and I'm getting a bigger table I'm so excited. Um, let me take these out <clears throat> what I love about this table if you're interested is it's collapsible and storable and what I actually going to do with it I'm going to use it as a side table for my desk I work over here right now keep it don't put it in there because you like open space but I don't I'm gonna get the vacuum this is all I'm gonna do as part of my cleaning this is a bookshelf full of books and patterns irons on it and a lamp and all sorts of stuff. So I basically, I don't know what I'm going to do with a bookshelf after this because the table is going to extend to that distance. Um, so we're going to figure that out. If you notice, I took a lot of stuff and I put it in a box. What I'm going to do with that box, I'm going to go through that once my table is up and I'm able to actually move it into it. So 
I will bring us back up when the table is delivered and you can set it up with me or watch me set it up. But thanks so much for watching the cleaning process. I know it's kind of weird, it's a different video, but I promise you once this table's up, more amazing sewing videos are gonna come. Um, I just feel really excited, okay. So I want to apologize. I am horrible at doing process videos. I was so happy to do the cleaning video with you yesterday. <clears throat> the table arrived. The table arrived at like 2.30 in the afternoon yesterday and then I got off work and then I was like, I'm going to build this. And then my kids came home and I'm like, I just need to do this fast. And then I have all my stuff on the bed and I'm like, I need to clear this off so I can sleep. All that to say, I did it. I built it, and there it is. Let's just back up, back up. Oh, look at that. I'm gonna put in the before and after photos here, if I can remember. Um, but yeah, look at this. I have this nice, this is um, 18 inches by 36 inches cutting, uh, cutting mat. It's double-sided, so I can flip it over when it's old. I got this amazing flexi light. So it really illuminates my cutting area. <clears throat> Down here, I have those drawers I talked about. These little boxes I got on Amazon. These have my um, <clears throat> double fold binding and then double fold elastic. Then down here, I have my yardage. I've got some holiday fabric. So I've got summer, fall, and behind it is Christmas. And then here is all my big background um, yardage fabric. Then here I have this lovely drawer. And so here I have some interfacing, some um, doodads and an extra uh, cutting mat, and then some just some bits and bobs down there. But that is it. Oh my gosh. I absolutely love it. It's so big and roomy, it's firm, and I am so excited to start making stuff and cutting. I haven't cut anything yet, haven't cut any fabric. Oh, but yes, then I found this while cleaning. It says she believed she could, and she did. All right, I'll see you next week. I hope to do a uh, video for you, and I'll see you next week.